Today's worship is about coming and em- go ahead, David. Go ahead. Did you have something? Okay. Um, about coming and embracing Him today. And whatever that looks like to you, if it's sitting, if it's coming up to the altar, if it's laying on the floor, if it's standing with your arms up.
Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Heaven, heaven sound through my people. Heaven sound through my people. From every nation, tribe, and tongue. through 
breakthrough, 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 breakthrough. The sound of my people. Oh yes, the sound. just worship God and keep our eyes on him and not on people right now in Jesus name we break off all distraction we break off all a distraction from you Lord God it's about you it's about you it's about you it's about you it's not about us
Jesus. Eric, come up here. Come up here. Man of God. You're a man of God. That's been hidden for such a time as this. The nameless, faceless ones coming in this time and hour, being revealed in this time and hour. You hold a breaker anointing, Eric. In your shout of praise, there's a breaker anointing. And I've said that before. God has ministered to that before. You don't understand, the Lord says, the full weight of your shout and of the mantle that you have. You hold a breaker anointing to come against racial disunity in this nation. You have a breaker anointing. And he only trusts a few. And you hold a mantle to bring healing and to speak forth into places of devastation because you've been devastated. The enemies tried to take you out. But now you're going for the gold. You've been prepared, you're empowered, you're equipped for this time, in this place, in 2018, the year of the open gateway, the year of the open door, double new beginnings, double fruitfulness. We declare it over you. We declare it over you and your family. Mary Lou, come up here. Mary Lou, come up here. Jason, you're already on the floor. So you're already up here. Pastor David here. Thank you, Lord. Also, this is what else I saw even before she said that. The Lord showed me you were a fire starter. That's part of your calling. Part of your fire. That fire that's in you is the fire that spreads, not just in your worship, but also in your teaching. It's, it's ministry. It's gospel. You are, you are, you are multitasked. You have been given multiple giftings. And it's really a powerful thing. Again, to think about how deep and wide is this goal. That's why they would try to make an instance. Just think about that. Fire is a little powerful as you begin to share. Lord, I thank you for this, this family doing even that. Thank you for release of your glory. Thank you for release of not only glory that changes things. There's such substance that changes in this in this multi-gifted family of the different sorts of giftings. But Lord, we ask that you would begin to unlock and show them these last next phase of this next part of what you've called them to, to bring your presence and bring your glory, to bring a, your manifested presence as you manifest your presence through them all. Thank you, Lord, for the release now. And now thank you for the freedom. Thank you for the freedom that comes through this family, in them and through them. And Lord, we give you the glory in Jesus, Jesus' holy name. Ooh, Holy Ghost encounters, man. Lots of them, family. Holy Ghost, Holy, holy Spirit encounters. New mantles. So be it. So be it. So be it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And uh, I don't know who you two are, but um, I see a Solomon anointing on you of wisdom, especially in the area of finances and entrepreneuring. God has got creativity inside of you. And I tell you what, sister, you are the future. Without the giftings in you, this wouldn't be possible. It's a team. But there is, um, in your future, there is, um, and I, a pot of gold is what I'm seeing. There's the gold of his glory. 
and in the marketplace, favor and influence. And it's, I can't stress it enough, the importance of your intercession and your giftings as a seer. You see, you see things that he can't see. And in that, there is a direction, even on a boat where the rudder, it seems little, but it isn't. It guides the ship. Your seer gift, your ability to see and discern is key in this union right here. It's key. So, and then you implement and activate. This isn't in the, you're an amazing couple. And so the Lord is going to use you in mighty ways to cut through in, to bless others, to bring kingdom on earth in kingdom financing and wisdom. There's much wisdom and oh, glory. Father, we just thank you for this couple in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, we speak, we speak, Father God, the open door. We thank you, Father God, many years. And the Lord said, the gateway's opening. The gateway is opening. It's opening because of faithfulness and because of loyalty and faithfulness. The Lord said, I'm opening the gate because it's for this time and this season. Hallelujah. Also, the Lord showed me for you too that he was bringing healing in both of you. And that he is in his wholeness, he was bringing healing. You're going to go as you minister in a way. You're going to see yourselves, whatever you do, that the Lord's, it's a, it's a missionary journey. Wherever you go, whatever it is that you do with whatever it is that's before you, it's a missionary journey. And everything that you do is it's subject to what the Lord wants to do through the two of you. It's subject to him on what the, what the purpose is. As he moves through you, he's going to move through you. But he's, you're going whole, whole, completely healed, whole. I have one more for you, sister. Yes. Praise you, God. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord said the fire came, but you haven't been burned. In fact, you don't even smell like smoke. That which the enemy used to try to take you out and discourage you and to pull you out, the Lord said he is turning He's making the enemy pay for this because he's turning this situation around for good. And a weight of glory that's been deposited in your life for this season and this time. I see the Lord using your hands to help and to bring nurture and healing into the lives of people. Almost like a nursing gift of helping people and loving people, caring for people. But the Lord is taking you up in an upgrade. There's an upgrade where you will begin to lay hands on people and see instantaneous healings. Not only in the physical body, but in their emotional hearts. So Father, we thank you that you're beginning here with this heart. We thank you, Lord, for your overflow of healing into this sister's heart, her emotions, her mind, her will, into the brokenness that, Father, she's not only going to just come out, but, Father, she's coming out like a cannon. And she will absolutely do much damage to the enemy in this next season. And that which tried to take you out, sister, God is empowering you and inflaming you to go and set others free, even in the same area. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The Lord said, you are his friend. You are his friend. You've always been his friend. And you're a good friend to others. And it's your loyalty. And your intercession. Wow, 
God, just that there's the prophetic flow right now. Father, I just thank you that he's just getting started with you. <laughs> You've been born for this day and hour. You have not been overlooked. You have not been forgotten. That has been a lie that the enemy has tried to put on you from the time you were little. And it's because you're dangerous and you terrify hell. You're a Deborah, sister. You are a Deborah and you have a voice and you have a word on your mouth to decree the purposes and plans of God to set the enemy running. That's who you are. That's who, he's been running after you to try to stop you. And now guess what? You don't even have to run after him. He's already running. You're a Deborah in this hour. You're a Deborah in Jesus' name. Um, <clears throat> just a second. There, uh, there also um, came earlier too about there's a, an orphan. Some of you have really been sensing an orphan. You're, you're, orphan, you're an orphan and you're abandonment. There are different things that's ha that have been happening in your life, fruit of that. And I want you to just raise your hand right there. There's just, you know, orphan, you could be orphan just uh, sometimes in divorce. You feel orphan. You, uh, you feel abandoned. You, there are different, different things that happen in our lives, the different situations that happen in our lives where we feel orphaned. We can even be orphaned. It seems like by leadership, or leadership has abandoned us, those that were a part of our lives, and then all of a sudden they abandon us. Um, if that's just speaking to you, just why don't you just stand up right where you're at there. Just stand up right where you're at. You don't feel like you belong. Okay, anybody else that want to join in? No. Okay. There's multiple reasons uh, that we can feel orphaned or re even uh, places of rejection because of the greatness of what God has for us. And, and the Lord uh, wants to wipe that away right now that he never will ever leave you. He has never left you. He'll never forsake you no matter if uh, our own earthly parents or someone earthly or uh, a spouse, whatever it is, uh, he'll never, never, ever abandon us. So here for each one, we thank you, Lord, that you are moving so swiftly. Through this word of knowledge you had, Lord, you are going to come and you're going to remove all of those lies. You're removing all that destruction. You're removing all those words and all those words that were not even brought, seemed as if they were bringing word curses that came. We thank you for your sovereignty of your healing. And we thank you for your glory that's being released even now in each one. And Lord, we rip the seeds. We command the seeds, Lord, out in Jesus' name of lies and deceit. And Lord, we were only given, we were given to our parents on loan. You are our Father. And Lord, we thank you. And Lord, we thank you for those that were abandoned, wives that were abandoned. Lord, that Lord, we just thank you, Lord, that you are our husband. Jesus, you are their husband. And Lord, those who were in death, Lord, those that lost loved ones in death, and they felt even a place of abandonment. Lord, you come, and Lord, you fill every one of those areas even now with your presence. Bring your healing. Release your healing inside of each one. Those that are watching by live stream and those that are watching by Facebook live. Release, release, release. Lord, let all those chains be released, no longer shackled to the old. Free and free indeed are we in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Come on, Christine, Pastor. Thank you, Lord. Um, so I had a, I had a word for... Um, person over here um thank you lord so i just saw um the lord was just showing me a big heart and he just sees you as a big heart he has given you a heart to love and i heard he's given you a heart to love the broken of the broken and he's given you um faith
favor with the broken of the broken. But in the process of this, the enemy has attacked your heart. And he's attacked that very area inside of you. And I heard that the Lord is going, he's put um, a gift of worship inside of you. And I even saw you as a little girl. And I saw you in the rain. And it was like you had that childlike faith where you just had your arms lifted up and his rain just began to fall on you. And you just began to giggle and you began to laugh. And in the process of this, I saw Jesus come. And I saw him take your hands and you giggled and you laughed together. And so I just saw that this heart of worship that he has put inside of you is going to come out as you have never seen before. And he is going to give you the tools that you need to minister to the broken of the broken. And he is going to show you who he made you to be in ways that you have never known before. But he is showing you that worship in him is going to bring the revelation on how to minister to those. And this big heart, that's what people will see, is just love. Because that's going to break through anything, is that love that you have. And he's going to restore, restore, and I kept on hearing restoration, restoration, restoration. In Jesus' name. Well, before I share this word, I just, um, with the orphan, that was powerful. And you guys know this, but you know that when you are adopted, you're chosen. See, our mothers and fathers are, we don't, they don't choose the baby that they have inside them. But when you're adopted, you are chosen. And the word of God says that even though your mother and father forsake you, the Lord himself picks you up. So... As we were worshiping, and before Luke started playing on the strings, the Lord had me laying in his lap, and he was just stroking my hair like this. And he began to speak to me, and he says, you know, he says, so many miss this because they're so busy, and they're so, they, they don't become still enough to feel the stroke of my fingers in their hair. And then he reminded me of a word he gave me in the beginning of this year. And he says, bride of Christ, you've been faithful to be equipped. You've been faithful to do. You've been faithful to do my word. You've been faithful in all these things. But if you want to occupy the heights of what you've trained to be, you have to go deeper in me. You have to, you're, you're doing cannot over, overextend past your being. You have got to get better at being with me. Your being has to catch up with your doing, bride, because that is the only way you'll be able to sustain the heights of what, what I have called this church to be when the harvest comes. And then he said one more thing. He says, still those muddy waters. Those muddy waters have, beca have to become still. The waters of your life have to become still because that is only the way you see my reflection. Very good. Good word. Good word. Christian, come on up. Pastor, Pastor you have something? Go ahead. Come on. Go ahead. Pastor North. You first. Renato, could you play that a little bit louder? I hear a word from the Lord. Some of you are saying, Lord, when are you going to deliver me? When are you going to deliver us? When are you going to deliver us? And the Lord spoke to me while I was up here. He said, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord said He will deliver you. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. 
chance But I will deliver you The race is not given To the swift nor the strong But to him Endureth, endureth till the end. Fear not, fear not, fear not, my little flock, for I will give you the keys of the kingdom. I have given you the keys to the kingdom. of the righteous but the Lord will deliver us the Lord will deliver us the race is not given to the swift nor to the strong but to him Thank you, Lord. We let the Lord. We let the Lord. Yes, he will deliver us yeah. from our sin. We receive that, Lord. Hallelujah. We receive that, Lord. Yeah, you get a hold of that? Sometimes you just reach up and just grab a hold of that, and I say, I receive that, Lord. I take that in. Any of those, there are a whole bunch of areas the Lord's been ministering in here. Every word spoken today about the orphan is Pastor Dave. The Lord brought me to Hebrews 13, 5, being the Amplified. For God himself said, I will not any way fail you, nor give you up, nor leave you without support. He says this three times, I will not, I will not, I will not any degree leave you helpless, nor forsake you, nor let you down. Relax my hold upon you, assuredly not. Good word. Good word.